Gadget Girl here on day 57, setting out north of Damascus at the intersection of the Virginia Creeper Trail. Hiking into Damascus today, 13.1 miles. The Appalachian Trail leaves the Virginia Creeper Trail at this junction, so the easy hiking is over. It's time for the uphill. I'm doing some side hilling pretty much straight off here through the rhododendrons. It's a nice day today. Just did a little creek crossing up those steps and more steps ahead. It's a pretty little wooded area over here. A person could probably camp. Good for hammocking. Small pond here. And the trail goes around to here. There's a nice campsite here just above the pond on the other side. And there's a stream feeding the pond so you can get water there pretty easily. Be a pretty place to camp. And the trail goes on. Getting into some mixed forest here. There's some pine, but there's also deciduous trees. Here at the intersection of Bear Tree Gap Trail, US 58, just a quarter of a mile that way. Uh, but we're going to keep on the Appalachian Trail. A lot more pine here. Smells really fragrant. There's a great example of why you don't shortcut the switchbacks. How it's all eroded right there. You could come over here and walk right up these stone steps that would not erode at all. Getting some partial views today. I have made it to the area of Saunders Shelter. Damascus, eight and a half miles this way. Cute campsite here, a little over six miles in from Damascus. For a little while now, we've been above the river following a rocky path. It sounds really cool and refreshing, but it's pretty hot today. Oh, I think this is the first I've seen steel rungs. Somebody's put a couple here to give us a step up to get on that ledge to go on down the trail. We've got a nice newer looking bridge here across this little runoff. Pretty little cove back there. It looks so cool and refreshing. The only thing is I wish I could reach back there and splash my face with it. The trail continues to be rocky. Down below, a little bit of white water. Sounds pretty. Nice campsite here, about six miles from where the trail goes out north of Damascus. Might be a good lunch spot. More spots up here.
Right over there is the Virginia Creeper Trail. Yep, it's lunchtime. Pepperoni, provolone on a tortilla. Here north of Damascus, some people stay on the Virginia Creeper Trail instead of taking the Appalachian Trail. And honestly, I can see why they do it. Um, I think that it used to be the same trail. And it definitely is an easier trail. Climb over the mountain wasn't anything spectacular. Okay, this stump looks like a dragon's head with Rosie on top. Another nice campsite here, about five miles from the northern end of Damascus. All right, we are going to cross this stream on this nice new bridge. And then this is where Route 58 and the AT cross, but we got to go back up into the woods to finish the trail. Well, to finish the trail for today. Not sure what this is about. It says Feather Camp. I don't know. There is a campsite here right by the highway, followed by a little rock hop creek crossing. so hot today, I went ahead and stopped at this little stream and filtered some more water. Sat down and drank some with some electrolytes. Felt good, it was nice and cool because my water had been kind of warm all day. So that felt nice. And then, see the sign? It's just four more miles to Damascus. I am at the intersection of the Appalachian Trail and the Iron Mountain Trail. Iron Mountain Trail goes that way. Paul, so do you remember a long time ago, somebody left a Take 5 candy bar for us here and it sped us on to Damascus and a cold Diet Pepsi. Nice little campsite here, 1.3 miles out from the north end of Damascus. Hey, Pauls, this last mile or so is a whole lot easier to do when it's daylight. I'm sure you remember doing this by headlamp. I have made it to Route 58 at the northern edge of Damascus.